feeling a sense of pain and then consequently losing your appetite has a correlation and we can finally understand what it is, but only in mice for now. A team from the University of Science and Technology of China performed experiments on mouse models and have gained a better understanding into the brain mechanisms which go into the suppression of hunger which comes with chronic pain. The team injected mice with the standard TB bacteria in order to provoke chronic pain in their bodies. There was also another group of control mice which had been injected with saline. After 10 days of observation, it was noted that the mice in the infected group were eating less and also for shorter periods of time. But when these mice were given pain medication such as ibuprofen, they returned to their normal ways of eating. During those 10 days, the neuronal activity of the mice in the first group was observed. It was found that there was major neuron signaling in the mice's anterior cingulate cortex, a pain processing region of the brain's prefrontal cortex. To see if that would manifest into appetite loss, the researchers then provoked pain in a different group of mice apart from the first two groups, which had then begun to eat less as well. After that, the team gave that group a chemical to prevent neuronal signaling in the anterior cingulate cortex of their brains, which meant that they stopped the pain signaling in the brain, although physically nothing changed at the source of the pain. It was observed that their appetite had improved significantly. Generally, the brain's prefrontal cortex is not seen responsible for appetite changes. To look into this, the researchers then injected certain substances into the mice's neurons to be able to trace how the appetite was being controlled. This third group of mice was also made to feel pain while they were injected with those traceable substances. It was found that their neurons were sending signals to the lateral hypothalamus of the brain, also known as the brain's feeding center. This suggests the potential pathway between the anterior cingulate cortex and the lateral hypothalamus that points to a pain-induced decrease in food intake. However, a molecular understanding of that will require further effort. Even when researchers used chemicals to activate the same neurons in mice that were not in pain at all, it was noted that these animals ate less frequently than before. Similarly, when the researchers used chemicals to activate these neurons in mice that weren't given the pain-inducing bacteria at all, the animals ate less even if they had been deliberately starved before the experiment. While the experiment has only determined the validity of this correlation in mice, Samantha Brooks at Liverpool's John Moores University in the UK expects a similar mechanism to play out in humans as well. By conducting further research, these findings could help in developing better pain medication. For The Print, this is Gauri Naran. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on our social media handles.